Hello and welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm BKB and this will be the second match with Esper Dragons and we are going to Mulligan. And this is we are going to keep. I will start off with the temple just to see how the future looks like. And that will I will definitely keep. There is few decks besides an actual super aggressive deck that uh, this draw can't beat. It's also pretty nice to have to anticipate because if he doesn't do anything right now, I get to anticipate. And if he is doing something, I just get to counter it. I guess if he plays around Silumgar score in this turn, plays a one drop. You know what? Fine. You can have that. I'm gonna look for. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take Silence to Believers. I was gonna say I'm going to look for Crooks of Faith, but Silence to Believers is pretty good too. Let's start fetching up some swamps. Generally, I don't like doing that, but we're getting into the. Yeah, this is why you play your land pre uh, coursers these days. And I'm not going to... Alright, sweet. Oh, it's banned. I see. That could be problematic. Uh, sure. Uh, I guess if you have um, a goddess willing, I'll be screwed. I'm going to silence the believers that I, I like to keep this all up because I think this is the version with uh, oh sweet with uh, Dragon Lord Ojutai and silence the believers is not very good against Dragon Lord Ojutai. For the record, I would have loved to drop a, a Dragon Lord myself this turn. And those are crap. I will, I will take the white source. Okay, we got temples. We are gonna dig through time too, it seems. That gives us options. But I assume we have to dissolve this turn. We don't actually have to dissolve that, but I'm going to. I think it's an it's an annoying card to play against. He's not doing anything. I think I'm not doing anything either. Yeah, that is a fine card to draw. Maybe I should have just played Dragon Lord there, but I think it's reasonable to believe that he has at least disdainful strokes in the deck. <sighs> Yuck. Alright. Let's just pay one more. We know what we are looking for. Yeah. Alright, all of those cards are pretty good. I'm going to take a Silumgar Scorn and I think just another Silumgar Scorn. Cast, reveal, Ojutai. And have a counter spell up to protect my Dragon Lord Ojutai next turn. Don't really need more lands, but alright. The bad thing here is that if he had a counter spell he could actually have countered this, but since he didn't even fight over the mastery, I'm pretty sure he's kind of empty right now. I would like to find a fetch land if I can. Um, that one is not very good right now. Yeah, I would like to find a fetch land just so I can uh, reshuffle my deck, because a lot of the cards on the bottom is cards that I want. Uh, let's cast and hope that you don't have two. Looks like a no. Obviously, I, I mean, I would take a fetch land if there was like three lands, but I'm not going to take it over actual count spell. Okay, so, band. Ashok is typically good against those decks. Uh, the rest, I'm not sure. Foul tongue could be decent. Negates and no probably not Stratus Dancers actually. Those are basically the cards I'm looking at. But that means we have to cut cards and I'm not really sure I want to cut any cards. <sighs> I 
Foul tongue is good if he's aggressive, but it seems to be somewhere in the middle. I actually re don't really like. I guess lions are annoying. Let's cut one Dragon Lord Silumgar for an Ashok. I think that's my only change. Could take the rest to try to snipe that uh, mastery. It's so bad though. No, it's, let's just submit. If he has a mastery on turn two, he has mastery on turn two. Hmm. I think this is a keep. It's a decent one. And all we need is lands. There's no land, but at least it's a castable spell. That is a land. No mastery. Ah, mastery! <laughs> what is it? A lion? No? Yeah, okay. Well, I can deal with lion in a moment here. I'm gonna play the island because I'm not afraid of the lion right now. He might even have more. So I'm looking to counter a good spell or uh, anticipate. And to me, it doesn't really matter which one. If it's like a courser, I think I just ultimate price it. It's a morph. Yeah, you know what? I don't like morphs. It's usually a den protector or something that gives him infinite value. Yep. It's like a new. Then I think I just play caves and pass. The plan is to foul tongue the fleece my lion. I'm going to take the hit though. Maybe ask more fleece lim fleece mains, and then I'm going to bile blight them instead. Do you have like a Norset? That would be bad. Yeah, you see. And Valor stance does not save you against this. So let's have a negate. Sweet. That is good for me. Temple time, sure, Ashok is fine. Also slowly building up towards the Dragon Lord. There is few cards you can play that I would be afraid of. That is not one of them and I am in fact going to kill that. Because I'm going to tap out for Ashok this turn. And I'm never going to get anything else than the Elvish Mystic with my Fall Tongue, so might as well. Two Stratostancer. <laughs> okay. No. We could take the sixth land for the Dragon Lord, but really we don't need to. Temple, alright. What I really want is counter spell. I think you just anticipate right now. That is interesting. I guess we just take the delta. I don't want to do that but I think it's worth it. Now I can let him resolve a, uh, a creature. Dragon Lord Overtai indeed will be hard. Oh we hit a courser. I'm going to take that courser. Yep of course it's a Dragon Lord Overtai. Uh, let's minus three. Well, we have two ultimate prices to fight it, so that should be pretty good. Uh, sure, let's play a temple. I guess Silumgar's scorn will be pretty good. Yeah, so we have two ultimate prices, and we could also, if we feel so inclined, let him attack and Dragon Lord it. But I'm pretty pretty certain he has at least one Valor stance. And yeah, if he has two, well then things are are not so good anymore. Could wait. 
ne to next turn now is going after Ashok. I will have to. Oh, it's not. Oh crap! What am I thinking about? It is mon. It's not monocolored. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you probably figured that out uh, before me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, but I think we're going to be fine anyway. Hmm. If we have to fetch, that's bad. Yeah, let's let's just play this bad boy, and we have two islands to get. Yes. I'm pretty sure he has at least one valor stance. Do you have a counter spell too? That's the question. Valor stance. Yeah. All right. Let's go for the double fetch. Pretty much have to. It's too bad I'm losing out on the silence the believers. Drawing a temple of enlightenment instead, <laughs> which is not really what I'm looking for. Yeah, he had two. That's fine. I think we can still win, but we have to draw something pretty good in the next two turns. Is this a Karyatid? No, it's a Surak. Well, that shortens the clock for sure. And if he has a third Valor stance, I guess that's not the end of the world. So we're gonna draw a temple, hopefully find something sweet on top. Dissolve is not it. I'm going to put it on the bottom. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just bash. Yeah, this is looking very grim. Now we also need to find a land to gain a life. Yeah, I can at least kill Serac. Do you have a valor stance? Yes. Do you have two valor stances? No. Okay, so land and a good spell after that. That's the only thing that we can actually draw to win. Come on, land. Land. Oh, we have more. Okay. Okay, we're dead. All right. Good beats. Uh, we were dead anyway, probably there. Uh, let's bring in a foul tongue. And I guess I mean. <coughs> Maybe the Crookses can go, but I think they are pretty good. I'm gonna cut a hero's downfall for that. I think this was a pretty rare occasion. All right, Mulligan again, and this hand will have to do. It's not the best hand in the world. Let's just say that. No point in playing the temple since I don't really know what I'm looking for. Am I looking for lands? Am I looking for spells? Really? Elvish mistake? You have to. And I will have to. Foul tongue. Just to get the Elvish mystic off the board. 
Well, it's unlikely has anything else here. That's a relief. Temple of Enlightenment. That's actually not horrible. Let's gain a couple of life, shall we? So next time we can play Temple and probably Foul Tongue, whatever he is playing. Hopefully nothing. <laughs> Alright, Corsair and a Death Mist Raptor. Of course you should have your Death Mist Raptor. Haven is good, but not really. Uh, do I want to know what he's drawing? I think I actually do. Yeah. See, that is a good card to have. Hopefully he doesn't have a land. You have to sack that Corsair, thank you very much. Could just be Death Mist Raptor go and not have the perfect hand every time? Morph go, Death Mist, oh! Yeah, too bad I don't have uh, an, an untapped land to go with that, but yay! So Master will resolve, I think we can raise that. I hope we can at least. Let's play Dragon Lord. Let's play Temple, try to find a count spell. Well. Do you hit lands? I'm not blocking Death Mist Raptor. I'm far ahead on life and I'm far ahead of everything. Great. Finally, you get punished for keeping. He probably kept like. Three lands, Elvish Mystic, Corsair, and it's not really a punishment at all. But I've been mulliganing like crazy, so I think it's fair. I'm going to counter that. Boo. Find another count spell. Hopefully. Yeah, I think that's the best. It's unlikely he can kill my Dragon Lord now, and we all know how good Dragon Lord is. can remove the stuff in his draw step. Yep, I'm going to dissolve that. It's actually good that he did it on his turn. Because now I get to untap and I get to scry. Okay. So I would have scryed that to the bottom, drawn Ashok, probably just attacked. <sighs> of those cards I think he would have taken Silence the Believers. Played a Scryland. Probably just. I'd probably play Ashok and Foul Tongue that. Then maybe I would would have done, but died. But then I would have had at least Ashok in play, Dragon Lords, Prigorciative, and stuff. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll bring you the finals right away.